There's a whole array of bitwise operations that we can apply and they work in exactly the same way as the add, subtract and logical shift operations that we've that we've uh, come across already in that we have three operands and the third operand can either be a register or it can be a directly addressed value. So let's have a look at some of these bitwise operations in, in action then. So we're going to start off with with and but before that I'm going to move a value into register 2 just so that we have something to play with. I'm going to choose put the value um, 3 into register 2 and then we're going to use the and operation. We're going to and that value register 2 with, with another value. Now so we're going to store, store, the, store the result of the and operation in, in register 1 and we are going to take the value R2 and we are going to and it with the value 2. Now if you and those two values together, what we should get is 2 stored in register 1. And I'm not going to go through bitwise operations, that's discussed in another uh, demonstration elsewhere. But I will run this through to, to see how this works. So to click, uh, assemble the code and again, go step by step. And it's anded them together and it stored the value 2 in register 1 which is what we expected and then the program halts. So that's the first bitwise operation. Another bitwise operation is the OR operation. So again all I'm going to do edit this code and I'm going to just simply replace AND with OR. So this now should give us 3 and let's submit that and let's run it through again. Well, that's the best doing that. So that's going to store three in register one, which it's done, which is exactly what we what we expected. So that's that's worked as expected as well. And the other operation, other operation I want to discuss is the XOR one. So this is exclusive OR. So it's XOR and that's exclusive OR. And again, let's let's, uh, let's let's run that through. So for this one, what we should have is one. So if I assemble that and run it through, and it, so the value that's stored in register 1 is 1, so that's exactly as expected. The final bitwise operation is the NOT operation. What this does is it flips our bits, so if there is 0, it converts them to 1, if it's 1, it converts them to 0. And what it's called is called MVN, so what that means, it means move and NOT. And what we're going to do is we're going to store our result in R1, so that, that's what that means, and then we are going to store the value, well we're going to, going to flip the bits on, let's say the value 7, and store it in register 1, and then we're going to, going to hold the program. Now, because we've got 32 bits stored in each memory location, essentially 7 is a very small value, and it's preceded by loads of zeros, um, it'll be 29 bits, I think. All those zeros be converted to one. So what we'd actually end up, what we're actually going to end up with, is a really big number stored in in register one. So let's assemble the code and let's see how that works. So there we go. And yes, you can see that in register one we have a really big number because basically all our all our zeros have been converted into into ones, and we only have three zeros at the end, which were previously the values that made up seven, which were ones and now it's all zero. So actually our value is, is really big.